All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Evergreen Park and Rec District tutorial of how to make a customer account. So my name is Jared. I'm going to walk you through the process of how to create a customer account. That way you can access your personal customer account um, within our software program called ActiveNet. And yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to open up our preferred web browser, whether that be Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever that might be. Um, we're going to go to evergreenrecreation.com. I prefer Google Chrome, so that is what I will be using for the duration of this video. All right, so it is going to bring us to the Evergreen Park and Recreation uh, main page. In the bottom right-hand corner, there is a button that says online registration. We're going to hover over that, and we're going to click that. All right, and this is going to bring us to our customer portal homepage. This is where you guys can access all of our different activities, information about different programs, pricing, all that jazz. You can touch and search for that here. So on the right-hand side over here, there's a blue sign-in button, but below it, we're actually going to click create an account. That's going to bring us to our um, next page, which is going to prompt us through all these different segments to creating an account where we have to just enter in some information about ourselves. All right. So before we get going, a quick FYI, you may at any time during this registration process get a red error message up here that just lets you know that you might have not entered in some required information correctly um, or you didn't enter in required information in exactly to how the program wanted you to. But you can see here what is required is labeled with the word required in parentheses as well as labeled with a red asterisk. So to get a customer account going for the purpose of this video, I am going to create a phony account and we are going to enter in the name Peter Parker because I am a Spider-Man fan and I know there are more out there. Um, he is going to live at 32003 Ellingwood Trail, which is the address of the Can Rec Center, which I imagine a few of you are familiar with that building. A quick note regarding the street address is right here in this area, we need your physical address, not the address that you necessarily might receive mail at, um, because I do know a lot of addresses within our area do not have um, mail that is received at the physical address and there's a lot of people out there with P.O. boxes. So if you do have a P.O. box, um, you can go ahead and click here and add it down below. Um, the reason being is we don't accept P.O. boxes as a physical address just because we cannot determine if you live within our tax district or not with a P.O. box. So moving to the next page. Oh, looks like we got a red error message. Um, looks like it's just double checking that we've enter in, entered in our address correctly. And to my knowledge, we have. So we're going to continue on. All right. Looks like we're going to enter in some phone numbers. Um, for you folks out there that still have landlines, you can enter that in here. As well as your work phone if you have that handy. And you can actually enter in your cell phone too. Um, one thing you also will see here is you have the option to agree to receive text messages from our marketing department or even a program supervisor um, trying to get in contact with you or let you know about some information regarding a program that you have signed up for. Um, but we're going to go ahead and enter in a phony email address for Peter um, Spidey. And you'll see here too that it actually has already clicked and agreed to receive information regarding um, any upcoming events or activities from our marketing department just as a way to keep our public kind of more in the know what's going on within Evergreen Park and Rec District. Um, I would highly agree. I would highly recommend to keep that checked so that way we can keep you in the loop with obviously the events and activities that are going on, but also any information that 
we might need to get out to the public regarding um, maybe a certain scenario that's happening within the community and that's how we would be able to contact you outside of social media is with your email and you do have the option here to also opt into receiving direct mail at your physical address if we were to send any promotional items out in the future also so on to the next page v all right here we can select our role within the family um it's not required right now but because Peter Parker is going to be the only person within this family. We're just going to go ahead and click adult and guardian and we'll touch on the roles of the family in a little bit when we get closer to the end. And Peter Parker is a male. Here we're just going to go and enter in a phony birthday for Mr. Parker. And we're going to go 4th of July because Little America. The box here that is checked for head of household. Um, if you plan to be the if you want to be the head of the household for this account, I would go ahead and leave that checked. But if you feel like you're going to enter in another family member, um, another parent, that you would rather have them be the head of the household, you can go ahead and uncheck that, and we'll show you in a little bit. About how to add that secondary person in as a head of household but for right now we're just going to go ahead and leave that checked if you have any pertinent medical history that you feel like you'd like our staff to know um, about yourself or even another family member it, um, you can go ahead and enter that in here as well as how you heard about EPRD um, yeah on to the next page all right, our emergency contact. The emergency contact person is going to be, whether it be another family member, a friend, a neighbor, um, whoever that might be, we do require an emergency contact to have on file um, just in case anything happens to you during one of our programs or when you're in one of our facilities or even with on our property, um, just to make sure that we reach out to the right person to let them know what is your situation and status if something um, of importance has happened that we need to let that person know. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and put Clark Kent. We will stick with the whole comic book theme. Again, we do require one emergency contact. You do have the option down here to add another if you would like, um, but one is required and two is our max. Next. All right. And on the last page, we're going to see that we have the email address that we already entered in for Peter Parker. Um, now here you do have the option to create an alternate login ID if you prefer one. Um, this is so you don't have to enter in your email address every time. Um, it's not technically required as long as you don't have that drop down. Um, box opened up so if you want to leave it as your email you can do so if you want to add it add in an alternate ID just go ahead and click that and enter that in there but for the sake of the video I'm gonna stick with the email and enter in a password I would recommend writing this password down making sure that it is abiding by these two rules of being eight characters in length as well as containing one letter and one number And as silly as it sounds down here, we're going to check this box to let the software program know that we are not a robot. 
and it, sometimes it asks us to verify um, that we are not a robot by selecting some of these tile um, questions. So we're going to go ahead and click all of the pictures that have a crosswalk in it, and then we're going to hit verify. Great, I can identify a crosswalk. And last thing here, we I touched on it a little bit earlier, but the green button here is going to create the account for just the single person. Now, if we wanted to go down the path of creating an account and adding another family member, such as another parent or even another kid or even two kids, you would click this blue button here, and then it would take you back through the same prompts we just went through for making Peter's account. Um, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and create the one account for Peter because he's the only person in his family. And awesome, we got a confirmation um, message saying thank you for creating a new account. We'll go ahead and click OK. Um, just an FYI, you'll also receive a email with a confirmation. It'll contain your username slash login um, if you have one or both. And, but not your password so again make sure that you write that down and yeah that is how you create an a customer account within ActiveNet on the customer portal page again my name is Jared Lilyhorn here's my contact information um, if you have any questions in regards to how to make a customer account um, you can reach me either via phone or email